Hello students, we are talking about acid, base and salt, right? In that today we will be talking about salt hydrolysis. So what do you mean by the word hydrolysis? If I divide this, it can be divided into two parts. What are those? Hydro and lysis. So what do you mean by the term hydro? Hydro means nothing but water, while lysis means breaking down. So what do you mean by hydrolysis? Breakage of any bond in presence of water is termed as hydrolysis. And over here we will be seeing about salt hydrolysis. Means we will be talking about breakage of salt in presence of water molecule. Now remember water molecule will be only able to break down the particular part which is coming from weaker acid or base. Okay, so over here remember that in a particular salt, the anion always comes from acid, while cation always comes from base. So, based on from which type of acid and base it is formed, the salt is divided into four types. So, what are those? The first one is salt from a strong acid and strong base. As both the cation as well as anion are coming from a strong acid and strong base, means no hydrolysis. What are the example of these type of salts? NaCl, KCl, KNO3, likewise. Okay. Now, remember over here the pH at 25 degrees Celsius will be equal to 7 for these type of salts. Now, the second type of salts are formed from the combination of strong acid and weak base. So, over here, if I'm talking about these type of salts, then it will undergo cationic hydrolysis. Why? Because the base taken over here is weak. Okay. Now, what are the examples of the same? NH4Cl, NH4NO3 and likewise. Okay. So, over here, remember the pH at 25 degrees Celsius will be less than 7 for these type of salts. Okay. Next one is salt formed from weak acid and strong base over here remember that it will undergo anionic hydrolysis what are the examples of same the examples are NaCN KCN likewise okay now over here the pH will be more than 7 okay now the last type is the salt which is made up of weak acid and weak base over here both cationic as well as anionic hydrolysis will take place. Why? Because both of the acid and base taken are weak. What are the examples for saying? NH4CN, then CH3COO NH4 and likewise. Okay. Now over here, the pH will be very close to 7 because both of the acid and base taken are weak. Okay. Now how to remember all this? Remember that in salt, the anion comes from acid and cation comes from base. Okay, and in salt hydrolysis, only weaker part will be hydrolyzed, and the pH will always be decided by the stronger part. Okay, and hydrolysis will be done for the weaker part. Okay, so these are the important points for salt hydrolysis. To make your concept stronger and stay ahead in your learning journey. Join me and other subject matter experts on Curito app. For daily free concept classes, download the app right now.